Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Crafter, a game where we've been terraforming a barren red planet from this into this. Yes, we've got water, we've got trees, and it's all thanks to machinery like these ones. So this produces pressure by releasing it, and it's all thanks to the engineering machines like these. This is a drill that produces pressure by releasing it into the atmosphere. This sprays water to allow plants and grass to grow and this is the way more efficient version that allows trees to grow we've also got some heaters over here that help warm up the planet as well as a huge cable stay bridge which is definitely a sign of a terraformed planet now how did i build such engineering feats on this planet well dotted around there's resources like titanium cobalt iron and if we use our gun to extract these, we can build all sorts of machinery that will help us. But first, if you don't like the idea of being on your own, terraforming a barren wasteland one tree at a time, you might like to check out today's sponsor, PUBG Mobile. It's the most popular free mobile battle royale game in the world with over 50 million active daily players. You can battle royale on your own as a duo or in a squad, and there's 10 other game modes if battle royale isn't your thing. The game has regular collabs with top brands and IPs such as Tesla, Lamborghini, Spider-Man and Baby Shark. Maybe they'll ask me one day. There's a new official map, Livic, which is only available on PUBG Mobile, where you can face 51 other players in this small dynamic map with various mini-games, including football. Yes, football, not soccer. You kick the ball with your foot, so football. A great little break from shooting, and you can even earn coins with your allies. There's also the UTV, a powerful new off-road vehicle that's easy to drive, and it's great fun to jump off the ramps that are dotted about the map. You can also use zip lines to escape the enemy, find treasure maps that will lead you to loot, get a second chance from the recall tower, find upgraded and boosted weapons and chests, and look there's even a bridge. There could be a bridge review, as well as many other new things that you can see and explore. So check out PUBG Mobile today by boosting the link in my description. Thanks once again for sponsoring, but let's get back to some planet crafting oh and occasionally we get hit by meteor storms which bring us new resources let's see what we have over here cobalt great titanium yep it's just a boring old normal meteor storm sometimes you get rare ones which bring you like cool resources uh, not today this is just topping up the common ones so we'll head back to our base and what a base we've been building look it is very chody i've situated it up there high above the floodwaters and once we get up here, we can just head inside. And in here, we have everything we could possibly need. So these screens tell us how well we're doing. You can see it's terraforming the planet. We need oxygen, heat, pressure, and biomass. And that gives us a terraformation index. We are currently at the tree stage. We're trying to get to the next stage, which is the insect stage. We're only 1% of the way there. Yeah, but thankfully, the devs haven't actually added the insect stage to the game yet. So we've got a bit of time. However, I do want to get close because I feel like there's an update on the horizon. Now, this screen shows us everything there is to unlock. And if we scroll to the ends, you'll see there's only four things left to unlock. The teleporter, the tree spreader T3, pulsar quartz crafting, and a fusion energy cell. Uh, hang on, why is it all gone purple? Why is it all gone purple? There's more meteors incoming! Whoa! Ow! Ooh, aluminium. Last time we unlocked this, the orbital information screen. Now, we can craft one of these it takes a microchip compass, osmium, and silicon. If we come over to this machine, we can create a microchip compass if we have silicon, magnesium, and two aluminiums. Now, thankfully, I have all these storage lockers of resources that I've been collecting throughout my time. So we've got an osmium, aluminium, and that's pretty much all we have of the standard stuff. Let me just come over here and eat an eggplant. Yes, I do. I have an eggplant addiction on this planet, apparently. But we can eat those to regen our food. We've got to go drink some water. So we'll quickly jump off here have a little slurp from the river and then we just need some magnesium and some silicon and that means we can craft the microchip compass Ooh, there it is and then we can craft the orbital information screen so where is this screen gonna fit we're, we're running out of real estate on our wall here i could i guess i could go there yeah that would do you. right what's on this then whoa so it shows what the planet looks like can you see all the satellites that i've launched so basically there's four different types of rocket and each one that i launch gives us an extra thousand percent production of that thing so we've got two thousand percent oxygen three thousand percent heat because we got two of those and three of those so nice now the thing that isn't really nice so we are currently Currently stood on our launch platform so if we head into this we can these are the rockets that we can craft now these cost a fair amount of resources as you can see each one requires a rocket engine and then there's a few other bits and bobs we need as well and if we head back up to our base to craft a rocket engine we need an iridium rod and two uranium as well as a super alloy and iridium rods they cost nine bits of iridium so 
pretty expensive stuff. However, over here in our bits and bobs locker, we've already got two rockets. And in Matt's secret locker, we've got an iridium rod as well. We've also got a fair few super alloys, so I'll take those and a bit of uranium. I can't really remember what I needed for these. All right, so bacteria, mutagen, and tree bark. We'll head into our base and we'll head this way into the right nut. And uh, we can grab some tree bark from here, so we'll grab those two. We can also head over to this, where we should be able to craft mutagen if we have bacteria, methane, and sulfur. So if we head over to this thing, we got some methane in there, so we'll grab one of those. I might grab an oxygen capsule, because I'll probably do some exploring in a bit. But we can now craft the bacteria, which means we can now craft the mutagen. And then if we just grab a seed lerma out of here, I think we've got the resources to launch three more rockets. Which means all of these numbers, which are the units per second, they should go up by a thousand percent. So, seed spreader rocket. There she is. Oh, look, I forgot it had a pineapple in the middle. So we'll launch that, and then we'll quickly grab another one. So biomass rocket. That's spawning at the same time. This is going to be lovely carnage. Oh, yes, <laughs> it's grabbed it. So we'll launch that and then we'll finally do another one. And then, oh, no, oh, no, it's, it's trapped. Let's try and kick it out. Kick it out. There you go. There you go. You're off. You're off. It's, it's not really off. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> right, and the final one to launch will be this one. This one also attracts uranium asteroids, which should be pretty handy. So we'll launch this one up. Hopefully, we can climb on top of it, because it's one of my favorite things to do. Just get a nice view of what I've created. Look, you can see my bridge over there. We've got all the lakes, the trees. Of course, my chody base right over there. There's the North Star. So many important landmarks. And I'm truly experiencing the best view we've got. Yeah, this is not... Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot the rocket disappeared. Anyway, now we need to jump down and try and get somewhere fairly sensible. Because the uranium asteroids are coming. And if you stand on top of your base, they all just fly off the edge of the map. So I'm going to try and head over this way. So I'm sort of out in the open. So come on then, asteroids. Where are you? Where are you? Wait, where are they? Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, they're coming literally straight down. Straight down. So, oh, down there. Where's the other one going? down there as well is it oh ho, ho, and look at this we got loads of uranium yummy 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 so we'll just head around collecting all of these bits of uranium up trying not to get hit by the other asteroids there's some down here gotta be some over this way there's rocks everywhere aha there's some thank you oh there's some underwater come here there's a few more pieces here yeah oh no my oxygen level is critical there is there is a little living quarters there if i can get there in time i won't die please oh that bar's so low come on my vision's getting dark. Ooh. Okay, that was close. That was a little bit close. That is the trouble with this planet. The, the air is not breathable yet. Still on my to-do list, that one. Anyway, we'll scoop up these final bits of uranium. And look, we got a fairly full inventory. Nice. Now, if you're wondering what uranium does, all of these machinery, they do use power. And so I can come up to my base. I can go over to this machine where I can craft uranium rods using nine bits of uranium. And if I combine those rods with explosive powder, super alloy, and three water bottles, I can build another nuclear reactor to go with all my other ones over here. And that means we've got nearly 800 kilowatts so we can create new machines that will help us terraform the planet. Right, you can see our new satellites are in orbit. We've got new multipliers, which means we're producing stuff a lot quicker. Nice. But we can always do more. Now, I'm not sure what's best to focus on. I feel like if I do plants, then that does oxygen and biomass. Whereas if I were to just do like the drills, that will just do pressure. If I just do the heaters, they just do heat. Now, last time we unlocked the tree spreader T2, which produces 1950 oxygen, which is by far the highest unit we can produce of anything. The downside with that is we do need fertilizer T2. Everything else we can get pretty easily. So let's head over to here and see how we produce fertilizer T2. We need normal fertilizer. Oh, and squash. There's actually a use for squash. Okay, so how do I make normal fertilizer? Oh, no, I've got to use eggplants. I don't want to use eggplants. Okay, well, the other way you can get these resources is literally by exploring. And since the last update, there's still a few more areas we've got to go explore. So let's go do that. All right, so last time we found like a big new area by the dust wall now we also found a clue that said we're searching for a crater because there's something good at the bottom of it so we are going to head back over that way to try and see if we can find it so if we head into this cave the pollen cave we can head up this way which goes into the egg area the sulfury area hang on have we been in this cave before oh look new stuff <gasps> okay we definitely want fertilizer t2 we definitely want a rocket engine Oh, is this a zeolite cave? Oh, it's very light in here. Man, this cave network's mental. There's like caves everywhere. I feel like I'm lost. 
I feel like I'm lost. Right, is this outside? I wonder where we are now. Is this back where we were? Or... Whoa! Okay, damn! Look at this! Look at it! <laughs> This is awesome. How did I miss this? Look at the size of this. Right, okay, so we've, we've got to build our... Let's build our living compartment up here. So I think if it's up here, if we can see it from down below, then we'll know where we're going. We just got to shove a door on the front, and then we can grab some oxygen. I'm actually going to build a little storage crate in here. Just I'm going to fill that up with the stuff that I don't need at the moment. So I'm going to eat one bit of food, store the other eggplants. I've got my oxygen capsule. And so we're just going to go for an explore down here. Hopefully I can get up pretty easily. But uh, let's just hydrate quickly and then let's head over to the middle. Now we did read a special document that said there's something hidden under the crater. So whether that means up here or whether it means in the water. I am well inside the actual meteor though. Like, what's that? That's iridium. Fair enough. I mean, I guess I could grab iridium. I I think I'll come back though. I'm gonna I'm gonna head underwater and see if there's anything hidden about. Oh hello, hello. What's that? Is that stairs? Okay, so this might be it. Let's head inside. Turn our flashlight on. Right, what have we got? We've got a message to read. Oh, so basically they tried to build a launch platform, but they said they've made another base higher up somewhere. Oh, we've got coordinates. Have we ever used coordinates in this game? Right, I'm literally I'm gonna get my phone out and literally take a photo of that. <laughs> okay, anything good in the locker? Uh, we've got some more fertilizer. I guess I should probably take the super alloy. I mean, they're pretty good seeds as well. Yeah, we'll take everything. We'll take everything. Anything else down here? Any destructible walls? I know what this game's like, hiding stuff. Oh, no, but look. Space food. Oxygen capsule. Yes, please. Oh, look. There's also, there's also a storage locker here. What's in there? Oh, explosive powder. All right, I'm going to use up one of my oxygen capsules. And then we're going to head to the rim of this thing. And we're going to try and work out where that coordinate was. So, yeah, bottom left. I've actually got coordinates, which is quite cool. I've never noticed that before. So, we've got to head to... It was like... 580 the first one or minus 580 so i'm guessing if we just keep going this direction we're getting closer so is it over this 600 dang we've gone too far we've gone too far so 580 and then it was 85 so how do i get that 216 to go down this direction oh man it's way off what the hell is in the middle of nowhere is it so minus 580 and then 85 so somewhere here and then the last coordinate is 1520 and we're at four uh do i not understand how coordinates work or maybe they never made their base i don't know that seems a bit weird all right anyway i've got the 1500 up so i wonder if there's a way of getting the other one down so we've, the first number's got to be minus 540 oh hang on look it's down here it's down here so this is the coordinate for the next spot so what is in this base uh, oh another ladder it's down the ladder a door. Can I deconstruct the door? I can deconstruct the door. And another one. And another one. Oh, man. There's a lot of doors to deconstruct here. And then I guess we go straight ahead first. Another door here. It's just doors for days. It is just constant doors. Oh, at least we found something. We've got some, we've got some storage lockers. Uh, nothing too rare in there, really. I might honestly leave all that. I'm only after the good stuff. All right, what's in this locker? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uranium rods, iridium rods. I right, got another message. Another message. Uh, just someone trying to make phone calls, apparently. All right, oxygen is running out. This is our last capsule. Not ideal. Oh, oxygen capsules. Yes. Thank you, game. I right, got another thing to read. So basically, they were just concerned that no one was looking for them. I don't think they were, honestly. Sorry. All right, just looted that. Oh, destructible wall. That's what I'm talking about. There's always some hidden stuff behind those. Oh, we got a tree seed. Yeah, we'll have some of that. Right, whether that's everything, I'm not sure. I did get a bit lost down there. I might just slurp some water up. Head back over to my base to get some oxygen. And I might actually craft a big locker just so I can store all of this stuff. Because I may as well head back in there and grab everything that I can. All right, question. Does this, does this ladder go down? Is this a new... Oh, look what I found. Pulsar quartz. That's super rare. All right, hang on, I'm about to die. Drink some oxygen. Oh, I found the bedroom. Right, what is through here? <gasps> we got a new trophy thing. All right, then a message about the person who was living here. They want to stay as long as they can. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, it looks like they were growing eggplants as well. No wonder they were so successful and wanted to stay. All right, anyway, I think that's everything down here. Oh, there's still a door that we haven't been through yet. Oh, it just loops back. Okay, so I think we've explored everything down here now. That was awesome. Pulsar Quartz. Get in my belly. Right. What a cool spot. Right. Now we've got to decide what we keep and what we take back. That'll do. Right. Let's head back then. That was awesome. I'm glad we found that. Actually, what is over like this hill? If we were to head up here, where does that... Where are we on the map? Oh, I don't think we're meant to go this direction. We're like, <laughs> we're like behind rocks. Yeah, probably definitely don't want to walk into those. Oh, I've gone through them. I've gone through the rocks. Oh no, now I'm in... 
Now I'm in this. Oh my god, look how many look how many storage crates there are. So was this the first one that we explored? I think this was the first rocket that we explored by our first base. Yeah, the lake down there. Okay, cool. I know where we are. Because look, there's our stairs to space. Nice. Anyway, we'll have a little slurp and then we'll head back to our proper base. And then we'll head up to our base, bonk our new trophy down. I mean, sadly, it's, it's never going to beat the original one, is it? That is a very efficient trophy. But then we've got the resources to build a few more tree spreaders. So I think we'll do that. Now, the thing with tree spreaders, you do actually need seeds. So I've already got a tree seed that I collected. I can make another one. And I think you've got to take a normal plant seed. So I've got a golden seed here. What I might do, I'm going to grab the golden seed. And then if we come over to this DNA thing, we typically, yeah, we just need tree bark and mutagen. So if we grab some water from down here, some methane from down here, head back up for the billionth time today so that we can craft bacteria and then the mutagen. And we can grab some tree bark from the right nut this time. And then in here, we can shove the golden seed, the mutagen and the tree bark. And if we press research, I think that will give us a tree seed. Tree seed plium. I'm pretty sure that isn't actually a recipe with the golden seed. No, it isn't. So that's just something we've we've discovered ourselves. All right, so for the tree spreader, we do need to make some more bacteria. So we'll make a couple of those. And then we've just got to wait for this DNA to be sequenced. So whilst it's doing that, we'll build the tree spreaders. So one can go there, one can go here, and then we can plonk a tree seed in there, and then hopefully our other one's done now. 70%, not quite. I'll tell you what, I'll tend to my eggplants quickly. So we're just swapping the fully grown eggplants for eggplant seeds, meaning we can make the pile bigger. Look at that. <laughs> It is beautiful. There's so many eggplants. Now, whilst I'm up here, I may as well craft a few more rockets since I got some iridium rods. That's those crafted. Oh, and look, my seed's done. Tree seed pleom. Plom. Plom. Pleom. Pleom. So we'll come over to this and we'll shove in the tree seed pleom, the golden tree. Yeah, and then I'm just going to make some resources to launch a few more rockets. Probably the oxygen and biomass ones since we've just built those. And then I think, or at least hope, I've calculated this correctly that I can build three rockets. So we can do one seed spreader rocket, my favorite type of rocket. So we'll launch that and then we'll build a biomass rocket. Hopefully that will spawn inside Carnage. So we'll launch that and then we'll do another biomass rocket. And hopefully that will spawn in... Oh no, that one's been taken away. Right, quick, catch them, catch them. <laughs> Look at them, they're like, they're like two flies doing it, but they're two rockets doing it instead. And there goes the other one. I should have ridden that one. I forgot to ride it. But now the planet has a nice tinge of green, which means we're doing good stuff, apparently. Yep, now the numbers are flying up, which means we're only 1.55% of the way to the next stage. Man, this is going to be a grind. But anyway, since the air is clogged with pollen now, I'm probably about to sneeze my tits off. So I'm going to say peace, love, and golden trees that aren't actually golden in the slightest. I mean, they're just palm trees. I don't get why that's a golden seed to create that. Bye, guys!